Hello there, it's Ama Jo, and this is my retail story. I'm not glammed up like usual <laughs> because I've been shipping orders all day. But I want to tell you why I love retail so much. My first job ever was interning for Kaufman's department store downtown Pittsburgh. I am such a lover of this old age of retail. I'm, I'm just, the fact that it's crumbling is just so disheartening for me. I interned at Kaufman's 15 floors of department store glory. I mean, the displays at Christmas were so, so beautiful. And I was the girl that pulled the sales reports for the buyers in like better sportswear. And then I went to moderate sportswear and accessories. So I would walk through, the, the opening was in cosmetics department where I would walk through every morning. I had my little polyester suit on and my little briefcase with nothing in it. And I would just walk past cosmetics and then past better sportswear. And that's where I just, I just was so in awe of these brands, especially the namesake brands like Ralph Lauren and Donna Karen. And I was just so mesmerized by the fact that someone could create a brand or put their name on something and someone would buy it. But it was just so beautiful to me. So I interned for Kaufman's department store every single year that I was in college. So I'd interned summers and over the Christmas holidays. Uh, my parents were very much about me working. My parents are immigrants from Ghana. My dad was an engineer and my mother was a nurse during her day. So my dad was like, you're gonna work and you're gonna get an education, and that I did. I interned every summer for Kaufman's department store, and after I graduated from Penn State, because eventually my dad taught um, at Penn State, I went to work for Hex department store. They were part of the same company, the May Company, and that's where I got my in-store experience. I was an in-store manager and I loved it. I actually was voted as one of the managers of the year out of 2000 managers in retail for a Hex department store. I was the manager of the year um, on customer service, on sales. I had a really fun cosmetics department that did about three million a year. Um, it was a, still a small store, but I just, I had so much fun. I love the in-store promotions. Yes, it was crazy over the holidays, but you know, you have to be a retail person to really understand um, the love of it. When it's in your blood, it's in your blood. So, you know, fast forwarding to now, um, after I worked for Hex Department Store for about five years, I pretty much went to most departments except for, um, except for home. I wasn't in home, but I was pretty much in every department um, up on throughout my entire retail career. So I decided after five years and having kids that that schedule was getting a little crazy. So, um, I decided to switch jobs and I went and I worked for the Harrisburg Regional Chamber of Commerce, um, because I got married and I was, um, that's what brought me to Harrisburg. And so I took about almost 10 years working for the Harrisburg Regional Chamber, starting in sales, selling memberships, and then I eventually became a vice president there. But I still had that itch for retail, and I decided to start my own brand, the Amajo brand. And I've always envisioned having my own brand. I thought I would have started with clothing or cosmetics, but I made the sample of this one handbag and that seemed to be what people loved so much. So I do artwork and I put them on the bags. Um, so anyways, I had one sample and I went to all of my friends and I collected um, about 100 pre-orders. And then I went to a, a local boutique that was located in a casino and they bought my first 20 bags and I was so excited, but I had no idea how to make 20 bags. <laughs> So eventually I figured it out and I used what they gave me to make 100 bags and over the next year I just kept selling. Um, I got to my first 10 stores that next year because I did uh, my first trade show at the Philly gift show and I opened my first 10 accounts. So fast forwarding to now, uh, we've been able to sell to almost 100 different stores across I think it's maybe 18 states. Um, building up small wholesale business. We have a small retail showroom in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and we just debuted on Shopping TV on Shop HQ. 
Um, I just love retail so much. I believe that my brand has meaning, especially as an African-American woman in business doing retail. You know, I'm not some supermodel out there. I'm not an actress who's licensing her brand. I'm doing it all from, from the concept, of, from thinking of what the packaging looks like to getting things on the shelf. We have um, expanded our collection into lifestyle. So we have... Um, uh, Amajo Sport, a small collection of that. We have Amajo Beauty, which is, uh, we just got accepted to sell on the Walmart platform. So we feel like this is a great opportunity for us, even in the midst of this craziness. And so now we're just looking and planning on what we need to do next. What's gonna be the best move? What's gonna be the most effective thing to do? But I've really, really enjoy, enjoyed building my business up till now. and. There's just something about retail that's just so powerful, that's just so beautiful, that connects with people so much. I am a, I feel like I am a global person being a first generation African. I see the value in um, connecting people, the value in my line reflecting culture and color and uh, the human experience is not limited to one different thing. I want that to shine through in my brand. We've also had the opportunity to start our women's empowerment program out of our showroom where we met um, before this crisis. Almost every uh, three months, we had an empowerment night for women in our showroom. And for the past two years, we've held the Amajo Summit where we've empowered about 130 women um, every September with a full day learning experience. So we're truly a brand who inspires others. Uh, we're looking forward to the next leg of our retail journey. Retail has a place in the hearts of our communities and is so important. And even though in-store retail might look very different, the essence of that feeling of walking into a department store and knowing that you were going to meet someone who knew you, who knew your name, that is just still so important. And I hope that we find a way whether we have to scale it back because we do now, but that we find a way to continue to share that human experience through the love of retail. Thanks for viewing my story. More to come from Mama Joe. Bye.